This example demonstrates the basic structure of a modern JavaScript promise. We have the promise constructor where we get the resolve and the reject methods which can be used to determine the fate of the promise and within the callback we choose to carry out the work that will eventually resolve or reject the promise. Now let's take a look at how we can potentially move the work out of the promise constructor. If we create variables outside of the promise constructor to store the resolve and the reject methods, we can set them up by using the values that are provided to the constructor callback. And this allows us to do the work outside of the promise constructor and then use the resolve and the reject methods. Now this code is definitely more verbose than the code that we saw previously, but fortunately it can be simplified thanks to the promise.withResolvers method that exists within modern JavaScript. Now let's do a quick recap between the promise constructor version versus the promise.withResolvers version. With the promise constructor version, the work is being done within the promise constructor callback versus with resolvers, where we have the ability to determine the fate of the promise outside of the callback, the work can be carried out independent of the promise.